Hello, hello, welcome back to Curls by Charlene. Well, today we're going to talk about how to finger coil, and there are actually three ways of doing it. Starting off with wet hair, washed, deep conditioned, you know the drill. I'm using the Maui Moisture Vanilla Bean Hair Butter which is great and it goes very well with Aunt Jackie's grapeseed and style recipe Slicked. It's a flexible styling glue. It's a gel. Remember to re-wet your hair because my hair seems to dry so fast with no products. But the minute I put products in my hair, uh, <laughs> all day drying sessions. You need to make sure you detangle that hair finger coils don't want any knots definition comes out best without any knots so make sure you detangle yeah by the way that maui moisture vanilla bean butter smells amazing it's probably the best smelling product i mean that's quite a statement but i can assure you it's really good so i apply the vanilla bean butter and the gel I'm just raking it through my hair. Big tip right here. So listen, please use product combinations or gels or whatever product you decide to use. Like this gel has an extremely strong hold. Even if I mix it with a leave-in butter or a leave-in conditioner, anything like that, this product holds. You want to use a product that you know will give you results and it will hold for the week. So the first way to finger coil, I call it twist, grab and twist again. Then you shake to activate the curls. The second technique that you can finger coil is basically swirling downwards. You just swirl it around your finger and keep going down. I would say this is probably the easiest technique, but is it the best? Then the third technique is called the fold method. Can you see what I'm doing? It's basically fold your hair over one, two or three fingers and roll it up. So keep rolling to the root and just let it go. I must say this folding method it's not really one I've tried that often. So maybe I need to give it more time and try it. But I would say that fold up method is really for wavy hair, in my opinion. But it will be it will be worth trying at some point. I think it's more for type 2 or even type 3A, B kind of hair. But I'm type 3C, 4A and as you can see, not the best definition. So the technique of finger coiling that I will be doing on the rest of my hair is the first technique I showed you, which is the twist, grab, twist, you know, and don't pull your hair, but as you go down, repeat it all the way and take your time. Do not rush if you're doing this method. I must say you need patience for this method. It takes time. How long are finger coils supposed to last? All week? All day? A few days? How do they last for you? I'm going to tell you what works for me. So the first tip I would give is you need to use a styling product or gel that you know will give you results. You know this product will last you all week. I have a few products that do this for me. Eco Styler Gel, the olive oil one, this Aunt Jackie's one, I know this one works wonders. Um, Extreme, the gel, that one also works wonders. I mean, not all Eco Styler Gels last all week. Some of them only last me three days. So you really need to get yourself or try out products that you know will have a crunch and will last you the whole week otherwise you're doing all this and it's gonna last a day or two is it really worth it 
I suppose unless you're going to like a special occasion, a wedding or something, yes. But you don't want to be redoing these finger coils that took you hours to do. Like, no. Second tip is how you finger coil. You need to know how you want your finger coils to come out. And so you need to style them in that way. Like the method I'm using, you need to make sure you start at the root because if you don't start at the root, you'll find the next day the root is, you know, more frizzy, you find it's not so defined and that's because you didn't actually twist it at the root to start off with. So your first day will look, you know, ping, but then the next day it will loosen and it will loosen because curls, you know, they want to get fluffy. You want them to get bigger. Well, I do. Unless your desired effect is to be that perfect, defined, pristine look that you want, then you are in control of how these come out. So you need to make sure, okay, I'm doing them the right way, especially those in the front. Like you want to make sure those look good. Then how do you preserve them? I would suggest wearing a satin or silk bonnet when you go to bed. Sleep on a satin or silk pillowcase. Make sure. And also use an oil to seal the deal. Like seal your um, ends in with jojoba oil or argan oil. It does make a difference and it can leave your hair with a shine. So oils are important for our hair. Look, I tried that technique, the folding technique again. It just didn't work for me, did it? I had to go back and just retwist. Maybe I'm not doing it correctly. Put a comment below. I want to know how you do the fold method. Another tip is why are your roots still frizzy? Well, it's either you didn't put enough product in that particular spot or your hair didn't have enough moisture. Was it wet enough when you apply the product? Because some products need to be applied when your hair is wet. So you must read the product and see what it says. What's the best application for the best results? Your desired results depend on what the product can produce and how you do it. So if you are lacking moisture, just add more water to that particular spot and retwist when you refresh it the next day. You know, it is that simple. Whereas some products don't actually need your hair to be wet. Like this Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils. It says best used sparingly on dry or lightly damp clean hair. So it really depends on the product and how it works and how you use it. Another point to make is, did you try to define too much hair in one spot? So sometimes um, the piece that you're taking is too big and so the definition will not come out like how you want it to because you've put too much hair in one spot and tried to twist it like that. The key is smaller sections are generally best, but obviously it will be more time consuming. This actually took me two hours from start to finish but i wasn't feeling well on this day i'm in my early months of pregnancy and uh, let's just say i had to stop quite a few times because i was out of breath normally i would say this would only take an hour maximum for my whole head and with practice it would be even quicker there you go i've finished the whole head I was so done by this point. I was like, Ugh, I'm ready to just lay down. <laughs> but look at those results. Hello, curl definition. I must say that's to dry and that's the next day actually. So shrinkage wasn't actually that bad and it looked almost the same from wet to dry. So that is the benefit of doing finger coils how you style is pretty much how it's gonna look. I was, I was happy. I mean, day two, look at them. And you will not believe me when I tell you this lasted all week. I could have even gone longer than seven days. The hair was in place, it was not frizzy, it was just like, 
Yep, I'm gonna stay like this. Thanks for watching Curls by Charlene. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. I wanna know how do you finger coil? Bye!